11, a special swearing in just days after the election. Voters in one city electing an all LGBTQ city commission. Local 10 News reporter Christian De La Rosa live in Wilton Manors with it all tonight. Christian. This is indeed a historical achievement, and this community hopes politicians across the country can take note. Local 10 News cameras rolling as history is made. Tuesday night, three openly gay men elected by the people sworn in. New Mayor Justin Flippin and now Commissioners Gary Resnick and Paul Rowley, making this the first openly LGBTQ commission ever elected in Florida. For some, it's the fruit of a long fought journey. I had to be very careful about what I said wherever uh, many years ago. In this historically loud, out and proud city, this new all gay commission may not be much of a shocker. He's a historical marker, but not necessarily a defining moment. But they say they want to set an example. We are the hallmark for creating a kinder and gentler world. Outgoing Commissioner Scott Newton. We don't think about gay, straight, black, white in this in the city because we're all one. And they hope politicians across the country take note. There's a lesson to be learned here. Respect the people with whom you may not share the same political opinions, but you engage them. So Wilton Manors is the first city in Florida with an all gay open uh, commission, uh, but it is the second city across the country to have that honor. That honor goes to Palm Springs. We're live in Wilton Manors tonight. I'm Christian De La Rosa, Local 10 News. Making history. Christian, thank you.